this time, it's time for the light round. Quick, everybody, that's for a close round for a really shame. They're stuck there. Bye, bye, bye. Just because I don't know the close when you play the sale. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready, Ski Daddy? It's time for the lightning round. Quick, everybody, let's start with Brandon in New Jersey. Brandon. A great big Belmar booyah, Mr. Kramer. Thanks Fan. for taking my call. And thanks for Fantastic. all you do. Thank you. I'm calling about the only REIT that I have in my portfolio, and I'm wondering if I'm taking too much of a gamble with it. I'm asking about BICI. That's not a gamble at all. That is one of the best run REITs there is. They, every acquisition they made, I think, is terrific. That's why I put them on the show all the time. Good, good, good way to start the lighting round. How about we go to David in Virginia? David. A United States Navy booyah, Jimbo. Indeed, Jimmy. what's happening? What's Jimmy. happening? Confessors of a Wall Street saver, war bad money author, Eagles fan. Tell me about Ford. All right, so Ford, we own for the Chapel Trust. I know it's under a lot of pressure. We did sell some very high. Uh, I'm looking to buy some more. If it does go below 10, I hope it doesn't. I think Jim Farley has said he's going to deliver this quarter. I believe him, despite the fact that Elon Musk is definitely after him to try to be like Henry Ford was to the industry back then. Let's go to Trey in Texas. Trey. Jim, these days, before I execute any trade, I ask myself, WWJD. What would Jim do? And in the oh, case of the trade desk, I think it's InSync's iconic 2,000 hits. Bye, bye, bye. Talk to look, look, Jeff Green is a genius. He's up against uh, Alphabet. They're very, very good at what they do, but so is he. I think the market can handle both of them. The stock has been disappointing of late, but I think, uh, not of late, this year it's been terrific. But I think it continues to go higher. Uh, I've got to tell you, though, again, remember, they're up against Alphabet, and Alphabet's a fearsome competitor. Let's go to Tad in North Carolina. Tad. Hi, Jim. I hope you're having a great day. It's a terrific day. How about you? That's great. First of all, I want to thank you for the advice you gave me back in January concerning Transmedics. You have made me a happy camper. Uh, thank you uh, very much. Thank you. Secondly, I wanted to get your thoughts as we head into our next week's earnings concerning Cloudflare. Okay, Matthew Prince has delivered, 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 but it's been a very harsh, mark, uh, harsh market for these kinds of high multiple stocks. I think it's become more forgiving, and I am going to give you my blessing to buy the stock of Cloudflare. I'm betting that Matthew Prince will not disappoint. How about we go to Michael in Texas? Michael. Booyah, Jim. Booyah, Michael. First time caller, long time listener. Hey, Jim, I'd just like to say thank you for all you do for us retail investors. I thank appreciate you. your insight. Thank you. I'm uh, doing so this for you. Thank you. Thank you. I know you've been covering uh, 2021 IPOs this week, so I'd like to ask about a stock that IPO in late 2020. Since IPO, this stock is up over 420%, currently trading under nine times next year's earnings, and it has a small dividend that I believe will increase as the company continues to grow. I'm interested to hear your opinion on Academy Sports and Outdoors. ASL. Ticker symbol. ASL. Look, it is inexpensive. I wanted to believe in the big portfolio. I was worried about uh, some aspects of hunting. Uh, but I think it's a good company. Uh, uh, they do a good job. And I think that you're still, even at these prices, you're still free to buy it. I want to go to uh, Arthur, New Jersey. Arthur. Booyah, Jim. Arthur's Arthur fired up. New Jersey just want to know, what do you know, what do you say about MicroStrategy led by the late and great George Washington of Bitcoin, Michael Saylor? Short right. term, I know recently. I think it's just if you want to own Bitcoin, you should own Bitcoin, not MicroStrategy. I've been through the, war, the wars, the dot-com wars. I started the street.com. I was watching Michael then. Michael's a creative guy, but I think it's a play on Bitcoin, so just own Bitcoin. I'm not recommending Bitcoin right here. Let's go to uh, Giacomo in Michigan. Giacomo. Hey, hey Jim. Uh, yeah, you know my, you pronounce it right. Giacomo, G-I-A. Well, my daughter went to Tulane. I got that kind of, you know, that Cajun thing. What's up? Yeah, if you, and if you were born in Italy, that's what will be your name because that's what it is, Jim. It's Giacomo. Anyway, uh, Jim, I love your show. I want to ask you about a company, an uh, auto company called Salantis, so which is, you know, it's a merger between Chrysler, Fiat, and Peugeot. And it's a merger between companies that are doing incredibly well, and I think it's still a buy right here. It's inexpensive, and I like it. I think you should buy it or own it at least. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, can hawks migrate south? Why, it looks like some of the Fed's most hawkish birds are softening on rates. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. 
Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.